Dear Father in heaven, lieber Vater im Himmel, it was a blessed day till now. Es war eine sehr gesegneten Tag bislang. And I thank you for all your protection and all your help. Und ich danke dir für deinen Schutz und für deine Hilfe. Now, especially I want to ask you, Father, that you will uh, please come amongst us. Und ganz besonders möchte ich bitten jetzt, lieber Vater, dass du jetzt unter uns seist. That you please bless us with a, a attentive mind. No? Dass du uns segnest mit um, Aufmerksamkeit. Please bless uh, Brother Lawrence as he is leading the class. Und bitte segne Bruder Lorenz, als er die Klasse leitet. All of us as a congregation. Und segne auch all uns hier als Versammlung. The live stream. Und segne auch bitte den Livestream. Translation. Die Übersetzung auch. And help us Father to, yeah, to be blessed by yeah, this uh, evening worship. Und bitte helft uns allen, Herr, dass wir durch diesen Abend Andacht gesegnet werden. Please help us to understand a little bit more the, this message. Und bitte helft uns ein bisschen mehr noch diese Botschaft zu verstehen. In Jesus' name. In Jesu Namen. Amen. Amen. So <clears throat> this evening we want to look at the the story when the disciples were on the lake and the storm came. Und heute Abend wollen wir diese Geschichte anschauen, wo die Jungen auf dem See waren, als den Sturm einbrach. And um, we can find this in chapter 40 of the uh, Desire of Ages. Und wir können das in Kapitel 40 von das Leben Jesu finden. And I also read through the whole chapter, and I thought it was a very nice chapter, so I, I thought, all right, let us just read first this, this chapter together, and then try to place the story on the line. Und ich habe diese ganze Kapitel durchgelesen, und ich fand es eine sehr schöne Geschichte. Also, was wir machen wollen, ist diese Geschichte zuerst durchlesen, und dann wollen wir sehen, wie wir das auf unsere Linie markieren. Because it, in this chapter you can really nicely see... Okay, our human nature and how we easily uh, lose sight of Christ and exalt ourselves and all these things. Und durch diese Kapitel können wir sehen. Sorry, Lance, please say that again. In, in this chapter, you can uh, see nicely how we can, because of our human nature. Ah, also in diese Kapitel, wir können schon sehen wegen unserer um, menschlichen Natur. Uh, that it's easy for us to lose sight of Christ. Das ist sehr leicht für uns ist den Anblick von Christi zu verlieren. And also that um, yeah, it's easy yeah, for us to exalt self and have these ambitious, worldly ambitions and all these things. Und es ist sehr leicht, es für uns selbst zu erhöhen und all diese um, weltlichen Gesinnungen nachzugeben. And I personally, I, I really, you know, like to go back you know, to the desire of ages. Und persönlich mag ich es, ähm, zu das Leben Jesu immer zurückzukehren. Es erklärt, wie wir sind. Also diese Jungen, diese Jungen Jesu, die sind genauso wie wir. Okay. So, if you want to turn to chapter 14, the Desire of Ages. So, das ist in Kapitel 14. And the page is DA. Das Leben Jesu. 377.1 And I also posted the, in the livestream group I posted the link for the German uh, translation. Und es gibt einen Link in den Livestream, den man für das deutsche Übersetzung folgen kann, aber das ist ähm, Seite 377 beginnt in Punkt 1. Yes, in the, in the English. In den English. Okay. All right, so let's now read this. Just to maybe give you the background of this chapter. So, lasst uns das lesen, nur um den Hintergrund dieses Kapitels zu äh, erkennen. Just before this chapter, Jesus was feeding the 5,000. Okay. Gerade vor diesem Kapitel, Jesus hat den 5,000 gespeist. Yeah. Everybody was like really excited how he could do this and all these things. Und jeder war sehr aufgeregt, wie er das geschaffen hat. Okay, so now let's... 40. 40. 40. Okay. 
Um, I would suggest let's just read one paragraph per person. Und ich werde vorschlagen, dass wir jeweils einen Absatz lesen. And if anybody wants to highlight a thought from a paragraph, you can feel free just to, you know, share your thoughts, make a comment. Wenn jemand einen Kommentar machen möchte oder einen Punkt in das, was man vorliest, aufmerksam machen möchte, dann fühlt euch dazu frei. Okay. So, um, Brahma, you want to begin? Yes. It says, seated upon the grassy plain in the twilight of the spring evening, the people ate of the food that Christ had provided. The words they had heard that day had come to them as the voice of God. The works of healing they had witnessed were such as only divine power could perform. But the miracle of the loaves appealed to everyone in that vast multitude. All were sharers in its benefit. In the days of Moses, God had fed Israel with manna in the desert. And who was this that had fed them in that day but he whom Moses had foretold? No human power could create from five barley loaves and two small fishes food sufficient to feed thousands of hungry people. And they said to one another, This is of a truth, that prophet that should come into the world. Oh, no, that's the end of the passage. All the day the conviction was strengthened that crowning art is assured that the long look for deliver is among them. The hopes of the people rise higher and higher. This is he who will make Judea an earthly paradise, a land flowing with milk and honey. He can satisfy every desire. He can break the power of the hated Romans. He can deliver Judas and Jerusalem. He can heal the soldiers who are wounded in battle. He can supply whole armies with food. He can conquer the nations and give to Israel the long sought dominion. Their enthusiasm, the people are ready at once to crown him king. They see that he makes no effort to attract attention or secure honor for himself. In this, he is essentially different from the priests and rulers, and they fear that he will never have a choice claim to David's throne. Consulting, consulting together, they agree to take him by force and proclaim, proclaim him the king of Israel. The disciples unite with the multitude in declaring, that the, in declaring the throne of David the rightful inheritance of their master. It is the modesty of Christ, they say, that causes him to refuse such honor. Let the people exalt their deliverer. Let the arrogant priests and rulers be forced to honor him who comes clothed with the authority of God. They eagerly arrange to carry out their purpose, but Jesus sees what is on foot and understands. As they cannot what would be the result of such a movement, even now the priests and rulers are hunting his life. They accuse him of drawing the people away from them. Violence and insurrection would follow an effort to place him on the throne and the work of the spiritual kingdom would be ended. Without delaying the movement past Pichet, calling his disciples, Jesus bids them take the road and return at once to Capernaum, leaving him to dismiss the king. Never before had a command from Christ seemed so impossible of fulfillment. The disciples had long hoped for a popular movement to place Jesus on the throne they could not endure the thought that all this enthusiasm should come to nothing. The multitudes that were assembling to keep the Passover were anxious to see a new prophet. To his followers, this seemed a golden opportunity to establish their beloved master on the throne of Israel. In the glow of this new ambition, it was hard for them to go away by themselves and leave Jesus alone upon the desolate shore. They protested against the arrangement, but Jesus now spoke with an authority and had never before assumed toward them. They knew that further opposition on their part would be useless, and in silence they turned toward the sea. Jesus now commands the multitude to disperse. And this manner is so decisive that they are there not to disobey. The words of praise and exaltation die on their lips. In the very act of advancing to seize him, their steps are stayed, and the glad eagle look fades from the, their countenances. In that throne are men of strong mind and firm determination. 
but the kingly bearing of Jesus and his few quiet words of command quell the tumult and frustrate their designs. They recognize in him a power above all earthly authority, and without a question, they submit. Okay, just stop here for a moment. So, what can we see so far? Just when we summarize these paragraphs. Also, was können wir so weit sehen, wenn wir diese äh, Absätze, die wir gelesen haben, äh, zusammenfassen? They want to put Christ on the throne. Yes. Christ quells it. Right. Okay. And the disciples, they were also uh, in agreement to put him on the throne, right? Also, die wollten Christus auf den Thron, auf den Thron David setzen und äh, Christus erkennt das und er äh, tut ein Ende dazu und die Jungen waren sogar auch dafür, dass Christus auf den Thron gesetzt wird. Okay. Continue. When left alone, Jesus went up into a mountain apart to pray. For hours he continued pleading with God, not for himself, but for men who were those prayers. He prayed for power to reveal to men the divine character of his mission, that Satan might not blind their understanding and pervert their judgment. The Savior knew knew that his days of personal ministry on earth were nearly ended and that few would receive him as their redeemer. In prevail and conflict of soul, he prayed for his disciples. They were to be grievously fried. Their long-cherished hopes, based on a popular delusion, were to be disappointed in a most painful and humiliating manner. In the place of his exaltation to the throne of David, they were to witness his crucifixion. This was to be indeed his true coronation. But they did not discern this, and in consequence strong temptations would come to them, which it would be difficult for them to recognize as temptations. Without the Holy Spirit to enlighten the mind and enlarge the comprehension, the faith of the disciples would fail. It was painful to Jesus that their conceptions of his kingdom were so great a decree limited to worldly aggrandizement. Aggrandizement and honor. For them the burden was heavy upon his heart and he poured out his supplications with bitter agony and tears. The disciples had not put off immediately from the land as Jesus directed them. They waited for a time, hoping that he would come to them. But as they saw that darkness was fast gathering, they entered into a ship and went over the sea toward Capernaum. They had left Jesus with dissatisfied hearts, more impatient with him than ever before, since acknowledging him as their Lord. They murmured because they had not been permitted to proclaim him king. They blamed themselves for yielding so readily to his command. They reasoned that if, if they had been more persistent, they might have com accomplished their purpose. Unbelief, <coughs> Unbelief was taken possession minds and hearts. Love, honor had blinded them. They knew that Jesus has hate, was hated by the Pharisees and they were eager to see him exalted as they thought he should be. To be united with a teacher who could work mighty miracles and yet to be reviled as deceivers was a trial they could, they could ill endure. Were they always to be accounted for us of a false prophet? Would Christ never assert his authority as king? Why did not he who possessed such power reveal himself in his true character and make the way less painful? Why had he not saved John the Baptist from a violent death? Thus the disciples reasoned until they brought upon themselves great spiritual darkness. They questioned, could Jesus be an imposter as the Pharisees asserted? Okay, so I'll just stop here. So what can we see? What what happened to the disciples? Yes. 
So, and they were even willing to to say what? Christ an imposter. Yeah. And that he's just an imposter. They were willing to reject their past experience, right? Just because their own ambitions were not satisfied as they thought they should be satisfied. Okay. They start to reason by the humans. It's easy. What is imposter? The betrüger. Pretender. Okay. The disciples had that day witnessed the wonderful works of Christ. It had seemed that heaven had come down to the earth. The memory of that precious, glorious day should have filled them with faith and hope. Had they, out of the abundance of their hearts, been conversing together in regard to these things, they would not have entered into temptation. But their disappointment had absorbed their thoughts. The words of Christ, gather up the fragments that nothing be lost, were unheeded. Those were hours of large blessing to the disciples, but they had forgotten it all. They were in the midst of troubled waters. Their thoughts were stormy and unreasonable, and the Lord gave them something else to afflict their souls and occupy their minds. God often does this when men create burdens and troubles for themselves. The disciples had no need to make trouble. Already, danger was fast approaching. So here we can see, right, the Lord can hold all these blessings to us, and we can just concentrate on all these negative things, the thorns, and, the thorns, right, and then uh, all these unbelief and darkness enters our mind. So, wir können wir sehen, dass der Herr Segen uns entgegenhält, aber wir lassen unsere Aufmerksamkeit auf das Negative fallen, auf die Dornen. What was the last thing you said, sorry? And then all this unbelief and darkness enters our mind. Und dann kommt dieses ganze Unglaube und Dunkelheit in unserem Verstand hinein. And it says here, those were hours of large blessings to the disciples, but they had forgotten it all. Sagt, dass diese werden große Stunden der Segen für den Jüngern, aber die haben es alles vergessen. And so it's so easy just to totally forget all these blessings that the Lord Es ist sehr einfach, all diese Segen, die der Herr auf uns gegossen hat, zu vergessen. But what is God then doing? Aber was tut Gott denn? In order to bring us back. Um uns zurückzubringen. Das ist etwas Schwieriges. Bringt Trouble auf uns. Yes. Right. Ja, bringt Trübsal auf uns. Yes. In order to again bring us back to our senses and not dwell upon these dark things. Okay. Um uns wieder zur Gesinnung zu bringen, damit wir nicht auf diese Dunkle äh, Sachen weilen. Okay, so let's uh, continue. Next paragraph. A violent tempest had been stealing upon them, and they were unprepared for it. It was a sudden contrast, for the day had been perfect, and when the gale struck them, they were afraid. They forgot their disaffection, their unbelief, their impatience. Everyone worked to keep the boat from sinking. It was but a short distance by sea from Bethsaida to the point where they expected to meet Jesus. And in ordinary weather, the journey required but a few hours. But now they were driven farther and farther from the point they thought, they sought. Until the fourth watch of the night, they toiled at the oars. When the weary man gave themselves up for lost, uh, sorry, then the weary man gave themselves up for lost. In storm and darkness, the sea had taught them their own helplessness, and they longed for the presence of their master. Jesus had not forgotten them. The watcher on the shore saw those fear-streaking men battling with the tempest. Not for a moment did he lose sight of his disciples. With deepest solicitude, his eyes followed the storm-tossed boat with its precious burden. For these men were to be a light of the world. As a mother in tender love watches her child, so the compassionate master watched his disciples. When their hearts were subdued, their unholy ambition quelled, and in humility they prayed for help, it was given them. At the moment when they believed themselves lost, a gleam of light reveals a mysterious figure approaching them upon the water. But they know not that it is Jesus. The one who has come for their help, they count as an enemy. Terror overpowers them. 
The hands that have crushed the horse with muscles like iron let go their hold. The bolt throws at the will of the waves. All eyes are riveted on this vision of a man walking upon the white capped billows of the foaming sea. They think it a phantom that omens their destruction, and they cry out for fear. Jesus advances as if he would pass them, but they recognize him and cry out, intruding himself. The beloved master returns, his voice silences their fear. Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. Okay, let's stop here for a moment. So what can we see here? The, when Christ came to deliver them, what did they first think? Well, he was an enemy, right? They, they thought he was basically Satan. Right? Okay, so, <clears throat> right, let's continue. Oh, so Christ didn't come straight to them. He, he yes. was going past them. He waited for them to call him. The same with the, the disciples on the road to Emmaus. Yes. He wasn't coming to their house unless they begged him in. Exactly. So, same thing. Yes. Okay. Um, as soon as they completed the wondrous fact, Peter was almost beside himself with joy. As if he could scarcely yet believe, he cried out, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And he said, Come. Looking unto Jesus, Peter walked securely, but as in self satisfaction, he glances back toward the companions in the boat. His eyes are turned from the Savior, and the wind is. Boisterous. Boisterous. The waves roll high and come directly between him and the master, and he's afraid. For a moment, Christ is hidden from his view, and his faith gives way. He begins to sink, but while the billows take with death, talk, talk, talk with, with death. death, Peter lifts his eyes from the angry waters and fi fixing them upon Jesus, Christ. Lord, save me. Immediately Jesus grabs the outstretched hand, saying, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? This reminds me of, in a little while you will see me no more, and then in a little while you will see me, and what did Peter grasp onto? His glorious right arm. Yes, we'll come to this. Okay. Okay. Alright. But you can share your thoughts already now. Okay, um, this is enough. Continue. Walking side by side, Peter's head and that of his master, they stepped into the boat together. But Peter was not subdued and silent. He had no reason to boast over his fellows. But for unbelief and self acceptation, he had very nearly lost his life. When he turned his eyes from Jesus, his footing was lost, and he sank amid the waves. When trouble comes upon us, so often we are like Peter. We look upon the waves instead of keeping our eyes fixed upon the Savior. Our footsteps slide and the proud waters go over our souls. Jesus did not bid Peter come to him that he should perish. He does not call us to follow him and then forsake us. Fear not, he says, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by the name thou art mine. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. Jesus read such character of his disciples. He knew how sorely their faith was be tried. In this incident on the sea, he desires to reveal to Peter his own weakness, to show that his safety was in constant dependence upon divine power. Amid the storms of temptation, he could walk safely only as in utter self-distrust. He should rely upon the Savior. It was on the point where he thought himself strong that Peter was weak, and not until he discerned his weakness could he realize his need of dependence upon Christ. He, uh, had he learned the lesson that Jesus sought to teach him in that experience on the sea, 
he would not have failed when the great test came upon him. They are ready, God instructs his children, by the circumstances of the daily life, is preparing them to act their part upon that wider stage, to which his providence has appointed them. It is the issue of the daily test that determines their victory or defeat in life's great crisis. Those who fail to realize their constant dependence upon God will be overcome by temptation. We may now suppose that our feet stand secure and that we shall never be moved. We may say with confidence, I know in whom I have believed. Nothing can shake my faith in God and in his word. But Satan is planning to take advantage of our hereditary and cultivated traits of character and to blind our eyes to our own necessities and defects only through realizing our own weakness and looking steadfastly unto Jesus can we walk securely. No sooner had Jesus taken his place in the boat than the wind ceased and immediately the ship was at the land whither they went. The night of horror was succeeded by the light of dawn. The disciples and others who also were on board bowed at the feet of Jesus with thankful hearts, saying, <coughs> Of a truth, thou art the Son of God. There's others on board now. That will be the, the, disciple, the first fruits of the disciples, uh, the, of the, the heathen, right? Has to be, right? Yes. I mean, the first was, fruit. Yes, I mean, we, we can try to... I've never read that before find out how to place it. Okay, so, so it's a, a nice story, right? Also ein schönes Geschichte. But um, now we also try to place this on the line. Aber jetzt werden wir das versuchen auf unsere Linie zu legen. And not the whole chapter, but at least the bit where it speaks about the storm on the lake. Also nicht das ganze Kapitel, aber zumindest die Teile, wo es spricht über den Sturm auf dem See. Okay. So, and therefore we can go up again to page 380.3. Also, we go up to 380.3. I don't know the German equivalent of it. Let me just see. Fängt an mit einer gewaltsamen Sturm. Also, ähnlich. A violent tempest. Das ist in 370.3 im Deutschen. Im Deutschen 370.3. Okay. Uh, it says, A violent tempest had been stealing upon them, and they were unprepared for it. It was a sudden contrast, for the day had been perfect, and when the gale struck them, they were afraid. So, what can we see? When, how, does this, how did the storm come upon them? So, unexpected. Yes, it was suddenly and unexpected, right? So, plötzlich und unerwartet. In, in what condition were they found? Und in welchem Zustand befanden sie sich? Unprepared. Yes, they were unprepared for it. Unvorbereitet. So, that's already something that I was struggling with. Also, das war schon bereits irgendetwas, womit ich strauchelt. Strauchelt. Because, uh, what does it say? How does the Minai cry come? Denn was sagt es? Wie kommt der Mitternachtsruf? Suddenly and unexpected. Plötzlich right? unerwartet. But what happens with, you know, these two classes? What will man? What will be manifested? Aber was geschieht mit diese zwei Klassen? Was wird manifest werden? Those who prepared and those who didn't. Yes, one group is prepared, right, and so the other is not prepared. Eine Gruppe ist vorbereitet und der andere nicht. And and, you should, and the, the, the one that is unprepared is the foolish virgins, right? Die, die unvorbereitet sind, sind die törichten Jungfrauen. So that's already something that I don't know how to solve here because, you know, these disciples, they got saved in this story. Denn ich weiß nicht, wie ich das vereinbaren kann, denn die Jungen hier in diesen Geschichte, die wurden gerettet. But anyways, let, let's just uh, continue and let's try to find some other markers. Aber wir wollen weiter und versuchen weitere Markierungen zu finden. Because it goes on here at the end of this, um, this first uh, of this paragraph. Dann am Ende von diesem Absatz. The last three sentences it says until the fourth watch of the night they toiled at the oars. Then the weary men gave themselves up for lost. 
In storm and darkness the sea had taught them their own helplessness and they longed for the presence of their master. Okay, so which watch was it? So, welche Wache in der Nacht war es? Fourth watch. Das vierte. Right? So, when the, the waves are angry and roaring, what does it represent? Also, wenn die Wellen ähm, zornig und toben, was stellt es da? Time of trouble. Time of trouble, right? Die Zeit des Trübsals. Because waves are and seas representing what? Denn Wellen und Seen stellen was da? Nations. Nations, right? Nation. So, and we, we understand we have these two times of trouble. Wir verstehen, dass wir diese zwei Zeiten des Trübsals haben. The time of trouble here. And the second time of trouble is here, right? Trübsal hier und eine zweite Zeit des Trübsals dort. And what I now did here is I use this portion here, this fractal, and stretch it out here. Und was ich hier getan habe, ist diese diese Fraktal hier ist hier unten ausgedehnt. And here you also have two times of trouble then. Right? Hier drin haben wir auch zwei Zeiten des Trübsals. Trouble here. And trouble here. Okay, so um, okay, so and the disciples then thought, thought themselves to be lost, right? But at this very moment, Jesus came to to their rescue. Und die Jungen, die dachten sich verloren, und in dem Moment äh, ist Jesus zu ihrer Rettung äh, erschienen. Okay, so I'm not 100 percent sure where to where to place it now exactly on the line. Okay. Ich bin mir jetzt hier nicht hundertprozentig sicher, wo wir das auf der Linie markieren. Just because of the fact that it was suddenly, which would actually mark the midnight cry, but they are unprepared, so I don't know really how to. Basierend darauf, dass es plötzlich war, das wäre dann an der Mitte nachschruf, aber da die unvorbereitet waren, das ähm, spricht den dagegen. Also man muss vorerst markieren, wo das ähm, zerteilen die I mean, fünf Peter Brot, Peter Brot und zwei Fische waren. Yes, Denn es wird verglichen mit den Mannern. So, when uh, the manna test or for when the Romans for 40 years for eating manna, right? It says that, right? So, 40 Jahre in der Wüste haben sie Mana gegessen. Okay, so you've got this. I mean, to think about it, whether it's in there or not, but this says the day was perfect. Right? Nice day and all the rest of it. So it's like this time, perfect the tag war. Also. Mm -hmm. But that's uh, uh, what I was thinking. It was in this little time piece. Mm -hmm. But then they, they come up to this point and they're getting closer to it. They're beginning to murmur and all the rest of it. And he brings the storm. Yes. And, uh, I, I would agree with that because right, there was no storm and then suddenly a storm came. Right? Yeah. Also, es gab Okay, so as I said, I don't know specifically where to place it on the line, but we can just see the the principles. Okay. Also, ich weiß nicht genau, wo auf die Linie zu markieren ist, aber wir können die Prinzipien auf jeden Fall erkennen. Yeah, because we definitely have uh, this principle that there's first, in a sense, a time of peace and then a time of trouble comes. Also, dieses Prinzip zum Beispiel, dass es zuerst eine Zeit des Friedens gibt und dann eine Zeit des Trübsals. Mm -hmm. There's a key there in three seven nine one and right in the middle. It says they were to be grievously tried. Right? The grievous trial is the Sunday law crisis. 379.3 in der Mitte sagt, dass die um, schwerwiegend, geprüft sch schwerwiegend geprüft werden. Mm -hmm. So you can, show, you can show that the grievous trial is the Sunday law. Und diese schwerwiegende yes. Prüfung ist das Sonntagsgesetz. But, I mean, this would be also a grievous trial, right? Yes, no, that, that's part of the Sunday law crisis. Yes, I mean, it's definitely on, it under the Sunday law crisis, that's for sure. But, okay, so let us just look at these different points because I have some thoughts and I just want to lay them before you and for you to test them also. Lass uns diese verschiedenen Punkte anschauen, denn ich möchte die einfach mal uns vorlegen.
damit wir sie selber prüfen können. Okay, we definitely yeah, have a, a time of peace and then a time of trouble. So auf jeden okay. Fall gibt es eine Zeit des Friedens und daraufhin eine Zeit des, der Trübsal. When, when the storm comes and the seas are roaring and all these things. Wenn der Sturm kommt und die, das Meer tobt und all solche Sachen. Okay, and when Jesus comes, what, what happens? Let's go to Deserve Ages 381. Also 381.4. Also wenn Jesus kommt, was geschieht? Great joy. Yes, right. So you have here, it says, as soon as they could credit the wondrous fact, Peter was almost beside himself with joy. So let us just... Go to John chapter 16. Also Petrus war außer sich vor Freude. Und lass uns jetzt in unserer Bibel zu Johannes 16 gehen. And I think this is like a, a fractal in the fractal. Okay. Das ist wie eine Fraktal innerhalb des Fraktals. John 16. And let us um, read verse 20. Vers 20. It says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, that ye shall weep and lament, but the world shall rejoice. And ye shall be sorrowful, but your sorrow shall be turned into joy. So, when, when do you have joy? So, when hast du Freude? Yeah, after, after your sorrow, right? Nach deiner Trauer. When, when you're delivered. When du geboren hast. The fight is. Yeah, because in verse 21 it says, Denn in Vers 21 sagt es, A woman, when she is in travail, has sorrow, because her hour has come. But as soon as she is delivered of the child, she remembers no more the anguish for joy that a man is born into the world. Okay, so therefore when Peter has now joy, what does it mark? So as Petrus jetzt Freude hat, was markiert das? Deliverance, right? Okay, so therefore... As I was thinking, because it's a, it's, it's a double word, this deliverance. I mean, it is befreiung if you take it on its own, but in connection with the birth being delivered, it's, yes, it's, it's a birth. Oh, right. But uh, the first time I meant it with the fine, and the second time I mean, meant it with the birth. Okay, no problem. Okay. All right. So, <clears throat> so the point is, when Peter is now full of joy, was the 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 wind already? Seizing there. So as Petrus here voller Freude war, is had das Wind schon nachgelassen? Or was it still blowing? Or had it weiterhin geweht? The blowing, right? Es weiter noch. So therefore, what I would suggest is that it's like a, a fractal in the fractal. Okay. Then, what I would suggest is that it's like a fractal in the fractal. In the sense that. It's in the sense that it's I think we even have to go into a lower fractal. Okay, but doesn't matter. I just want to show this this principle here. Okay. Aber ich möchte mir diesen Prinzip hier auf. Okay, so this time of trouble goes from here to here. Right? Also diese Zeit des Trübsals geht von hier bis hier. But what do we have here? Und was haben wir hier? Peace. A little time of peace, Eine right? Eine Zeit des Friedens. So. And here we would have the ninth hour to the sixth hour, which is this illustration down here. Diese Kasten ist wieder dieses Gesamte hier. So in this sense, you have a if I just put this down here. Also wenn ich das nur hier runterlege. Now so you have a trouble going all the way from here. To here, right? Ein Trübsal, den ganzen Weg von hier bis zum Ende. But in this whole trouble, you have a, a short break. Aber in dieser gesamte Zeit des Trübsals, es gibt diese kleine Unterbrechung. Yeah, you have a little time of peace. Ein kleines Zeit des Friedens. So in this story, you have like the wind seizing, uh, the wind blowing, and the waves are roaring. Okay. Also in dieser Geschichte, also das Wind weht und die Wellen, die toben. So in, sense, in principle, you have this whole time of trouble going on. So in principle, hat man diese ganze Zeit des Trübsals, der unterwegs ist. But in this time where the winds are still blowing, yeah, Peter has now this joyous experience. Aber in diese Zeit, wo die Winde noch wehen, Petrus hat diese 
kleine Zeit, wo er diese äh, freudevolle Erfahrung hat. So in this in this sense the joy marks that he's uh, delivered. Okay. In diesem Sinn der Freude markiert, dass er befreit wird. And therefore he has now a little time of peace in this whole time of trouble here. So, er hat eine kleine Zeit des Friedens innerhalb von dieser gesamten Zeit des Trübsals. Okay. And maybe I just made, made it a little bit confusing, but... No, 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 you know, you can mm -hmm. parallel in Jonah. Mm -hmm. It's the same, there's also a parallel to in Jonah. Yes. Because in, in basically, in, the, in Jonah, he, he's at the midnight cry and he sets out and then the, the, the trouble comes, right? So yes. Jonas is a Mitternachtsruf and he goes forward and then comes the Strupsal off. Right. And um, then it comes to this point where they cast lots and they, the lot falls upon him and, and they wake him up. Right. So it brings him to this point where he's getting his test. But yes. So he goes through his test. Which would be then here. Right? So they throw this loss. Er wacht ihm auf und er geht durch sein, sein Test hier. So, the, but the troubles are... There's something she starts there, comes to the... And he's cast into the water here, has a little, little time for peace, and then the belly... Of the yes, the whole, the whole thing is shown... It's like, it's like, it looks like two times of trouble, but it's really all one time of... Also, er wird ins Wasser hier geworfen und dann hier vom Fisch äh, verschlungen, dass es... Ein gesamten Zeit des Trübsals, aber als hier in Meer geworfen wird, also das Meer wird still. Also es ist wie eine kleine Zeit des Friedens inmitten des Trübsals. I mean, in a sense, what maybe where I am a little bit confusing at the moment is because and we understand this is one group going through the test and then the other group goes through the test. So I should have even taken the lower fractal and made the same thing as from here and laid it out here. You understand what I mean? Yeah, yes, because it is the end of the main fellow. So maybe I just do this quickly. You could, but well, you don't need to do that. Well, okay. And maybe it's because otherwise it's too confusing. Yeah. All these. So we just so put down the night hour way. here. So we make here in the ninth hour here we get a fractal smaller. And I don't know if we have even named all these these waymarks yet. Do we have any name for it yet? No, it no, not matter. really. No. Okay, it doesn't matter, because in a sense, uh, Peter gets and the disciples get delivered here. So okay. in dem Sinne, Petrus und den Jungen auf dem Schiff, die werden hier befreit. So the winds, they cease. Also die Winden hören auf hier in der neunten Stunde. Okay, but in this story of Peter, yeah. He has like a joy right here. Aber okay. in dieser Geschichte von Petrus er erfährt eine Freude hier. So in this sense, this, uh, this whole time of trouble where the wind, winds blow is divided into this small time of trouble. Also diese gesamte Zeit des Trübsals in diesem Fraktal, wo die Winde wehen, es wird zerteilt in diese Zeit des Trübsals. Then he has a joyous experience, he has a small deliverance for a moment and then a little time of peace. Then he has a joyful experience, a little befreiung for a moment in this kleine time of Friedens. And then again, a time of trouble. And then a another time of trouble. Okay, so let's see now what happens here when he has this small deliverance. So let's see what happens when he has this small deliverance. Okay, let's go and continue reading. Let's go and Let's go and continue reading. Let's go again to Desire of Ages. 381.4. Also, 381.4. And can everybody follow? So, can so you follow? Can you at least see the, the pattern? Mm -hmm. Okay, basically, that under uh, a time of trouble, you have basically a small um, time of peace inserted. So, Im Grunde, unter der gesamten Zeit des Trübsals gibt es eine kleine Zeit des Friedens da. Rein injektiert. Maybe maybe this will help you. So vielleicht würde das hier helfen. Okay, just draw another line here. Mit einer weiteren Linie mal. Yes, okay. Let's look at this. So question to you guys is now. So, Frage ist jetzt. 
Sunday law. And then second coming. Coming. Okay, and you can tell me now if I write now down one, two, seven, seven last plagues. So when I jetzt die sieben letzten Plagen aufschreibe. And here I put down the death decree, DD for death decree. And here mark werde ich das Todesdekret markieren. Okay, and Mark is not to answer, but you should answer. Okay. Mark darf nichts antworten, aber du solltest antworten. What is this way, Mark? Was ist diese Wegmark hier? hier? Yes, close of probation. Der Schloss der Gnadenzeit. Because. Okay. So, this is the close of probation. So, okay. this is der Schloss der Gnadenzeit. And what Sunday law is this here? Und welches Sonntagsgesetz ist das hier? Is this is the first Sunday law or the second Sunday law? Erste oder zweite? Okay, mal ist das erste, second. Das ist der zweite. It's the first Sunday law. Yeah. Sure, the whole time. Yes. Okay. This shows the entire time of the Trump Sunday. Okay, so from the first Sunday law down to the close of probation is the time of trouble. So from the first Sunday law down to the close of probation is the time of trouble. So from the first Sunday law down to the close of probation is the time of trouble. So from the Sunday law down to the close of probation is the time of trouble. Aber wir verstehen, dass unter dieser gesamten Sonntagsgesetzkrise yeah. What happens there? You was have, geschieht da? Right, you have a little time of peace. Es gibt eine kleine Zeit des Friedens. And you have the final review for the first group and you have the second Sunday law in here. So, finale Untersuchung für die erste Gruppe und das zweite Sonntagsgesetz. Okay, everybody can follow? Das kann jeder das folgen? Yes. And then you have, right, and we understand First Sunday law to the final review is the time of trouble. So, erste Sonntagsgesetz bis zur finale Untersuchung ist eine Zeit des Trübsals. And from this Sunday law down to the close of probation is the time of trouble. Und hier diese Sonntagsgesetz bis zur Schluss der Gnadenzeit ist auch eine Zeit des Trübsals. So therefore, dadurch, uh, you can see this is a time of trouble, but in this whole time of trouble, the Lord gives us a small time of peace. Das ist der Zeit des Trübsals, aber innerhalb dieser Zeit des Trübsals, der Herr gibt uns eine kleine Zeit des Friedens. The same pattern is here. You know, the, this whole time is a time of trouble here. Und dieses selbe Muster ist hier. Diese gesamte Zeit ist eine Zeit des Trübsals. But under this whole time of trouble, it's a little time of peace inserted. Aber unter dieser gesamte Zeit des Trübsals gibt es eine kleine Zeit des Friedens da einmarkiert. Eingefügt. Mm -hmm. Eingefügt. So, and that's what we're just about to get a little break. Yes, exactly. But it's not a not a break for sitting on your backside. It's a it's a break to go forward. So, auch wir erhalten gleich eine kleine Zeit des Friedens. Aber es ist nicht eine Zeit des Friedens zum Ausruhen, sondern voranzugehen mit das Werk. Yes. So, from from 2014 down to the civil Sunday law is one time of trouble. So, okay. 2014 bis zur Zivile Sonntagsgesetz ist eine gesamte Zeit des Trübsals. Yeah, so it's because from Sunday law down to the final review, it's the 1260. Right? Yeah, von Sonntagsgesetz bis zur finalen Untersuchung am Ende ist es eine 1260. Yeah, it's Mat Matthew 24, verse 21. Matthäus right? 24, Vers 21. Says it's, a, it's a great tribulation such as never was. So eine okay. Zeit des Trübsals, so wie es noch nie gewesen war. So, but under this big 1260, and you have like this little time of peace inserted. Aber unter dieser große 1260, diese gesamte Zeit hier, gibt es diese kleine Zeit des Friedens daran injiziert. Okay, so I hope that everybody could follow along and can see it, see it better. So, ich hoffe, dass jeder damit folgen kann. Okay. Besser sehen kann. And now let's go to back to Desire of Ages 381.4. Und jetzt das Leben Jesu 381.4. Says, and as soon as they could credit the word wondrous fact, Peter was almost beside himself with joy, as if he could scarcely yet believe. He cried out, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And he said, Come. Looking unto Jesus, Peter walked securely, but as in self-satisfaction he glanced back toward his companions in the boat. His eyes are turned from the Savior. 
the winds up is boisterous, the waves roll high, and come directly between him and the master, and he's afraid. For a moment Christ is hidden from his view, and his faith gives way. He begins to sink. So what does this remind you of? So, woran erinnert das? John 16. The way, uh, yes, the way, right? They, they go out this little way. So, der Weg, also die gehen diesen kleinen Weg hinaus. Yeah. And what are they to do when they walk out this little way? Was sollen sie tun, wenn sie diese kleine Weg wandern? Keep their eyes on Christ. Yes, they must keep their eyes fixed on Jesus. Sie müssen ihren Augen stets auf Christus halten. Okay, but at the end of the way, what does Jesus do? Aber am Ende des Weges, was tut Jesus? He says, wait here, keep your garments spotless. Exactly. Your, I'm gonna, you're not going to see me now, yes. but you've got to have faith. So, yeah. Haltet eurem Gewände rein, wartet hier, ihr werdet mich nicht sehen, aber ihr müsst glauben. Yeah. And he raises his glorious right arm. Und er hebt seine glorreichen rechten Arm. And what happens with many people? Und was geschieht mit vielen? They don't believe that he's led them out this far. Yes. They fall off the path. Yes, they lose the sight of Jesus, right? It says, and they fall down the wicked way. Verlieren den Sicht von Jesus und die fallen in den bösen Welt hinab. So in this sense, you know, this marks now where Peter also turns his eyes from Jesus and he begins to sink. So okay. in diesem Sinne, das ist wo Petrus auch seine Augen von Jesus abwendet und er fängt an zu sinken. So therefore, when he comes here and he begins to sink. So, wenn er hier ankommt und er fängt an zu sinken, yeah, what again started? was fängt denn wieder an? Trouble. Trouble. Okay. Das Trübsal ist wieder. So, let's see, let's read this again. Yeah. So, lass uns das weiterlesen. It says here, uh, well, where are we? So, the, the Lord of time of peace is going to be like walking on water. Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, 3.81.5. Yes, don't mind Looking unto Jesus, Peter walks securely, but as in self-satisfaction he glances back towards his companion in the boat, his eyes are turned off, uh, turned from the Savior. The wind is boisterous, the waves roll high, and come directly between him, him and the Master, and he is afraid. For a moment, Christ is hidden from his view. So Christ is now. This is for a moment. Yes. Moment. For a short moment. Yes. yes. Also für einen kleinen Moment, Christus, sein, sein Angesicht ist verborgen. And we know that's the midnight cry, right? Yeah, the why does he take, why does he, what does he do when he takes his eyes off Christ? He looks back, he, he looks back at his companions at the boat. Yes. And he does it because of self excitation Yes. Also er, er dreht sich um und schaut seinen sein uh, Mitgefährten in den Boot an und er tut das wegen Selbsterhöhung. Also so here we know uh, Christ hides himself for a moment. So hier wir wissen, dass Christus verbergt sich für eine kleine Weile. And this is also here for a moment, yeah, he loses the sight of Jesus. Das ist auch hier, denn Petrus für einen Moment verliert den Anblick von Christus. Yeah, because now in this time of trouble, the trouble begin again starts and now the waves come between him and the Savior. Then in this Zeit des Trübsals, die Wellen kommen wieder auf und die Wellen kommen zwischen ihm und seinem Erlöser. Yeah. But then he cries out to Jesus, save me, and the Lord immediately holds him. Aber er rief dem Herrn, rettet mich, und der Herr hält ihn fest. Let's, uh, let's read, um, let's read uh, on, point six. Walking by side, uh, walking side by side, Peter's hand in that of his master, they stepped into the boat together. But Peter was now subdued and silent. He had no reason to boast over his fellows, for through unbelief and self-exaltation, he had very nearly lost his life. It's just how we are. Right? <laughs> when, when he turned his eyes from Jesus, his footing was lost and he sank amid the waves. When trouble comes upon us, how often are we like Peter? Mm -hmm. So here she clearly says, the trouble came upon Peter now, and now he started to sink. So okay. here she vergleicht uns mit Petrus, wenn der Trübsal wieder hier anfängt, wir sind wie Petrus und wir fangen an zu sinken. We look upon the waves instead of keeping our eyes fixed upon the Savior. Okay, so, and therefore, this would be a confirmation what Brother Mark laid out. Das wäre eine Bestätigung dessen, was Bruder Mark ausgelegt hat. Uh, with this 
uh, with this light and exceeding bright light. With this light and exceedingly helles light. And that it's really here where the Lord will lead us out a little way. It's here where the Herr uns einen Weg hinausführen wird. And then this is where the investigative judgment is. Yes. And here is where the Untersuchungsgericht fängt an. I mean, in this fractal here. Also in this fractal here oben. Yes. Okay. So therefore, I, I thought it was nice to to share this, just to put this in place. Okay. Also, I thought it was nice to share and that we can put this on the line. Yes. And then at the end of this chapter, it says basically when Jesus now entered the boat, the, the wind ceased, okay, and then it's over there, and now finally fully delivered. And at the end of this chapter, as Jesus in the boat einkommt, also the Winde, die hören auf, and um, die sind hier angekommen an das Land. So, and then the, this big time of trouble also ceases. Then this große Zeit des Trübsals hat sein Ende hier. And what is the boat also illustrating? Was stellt, the, because symbols can have more than one meaning. Was stellt right? ein Boot da? Denn a boat or a ship? Oder ein Schiff, ein Sim, denn Symbole können mehr als eine Bedeutung haben. Problem, that's what you mark in Jonah, it's the exact same yes, but, but I think in this illustration it means something different. Also, es kann schon Wirtschaft oder Kommerz um, heißen, aber in diesem Kapitel, ich glaube, es bedeutet was anderes. Because it's the Ark. Yes, right? Because Mr. White, Mr. White says the ship will go through. Right? And Alan White sagt, die Schiff wird durchgehen. So in this illustration it represents his church. So in diesem Sinne is stellt seine Gemeinde da. So Christ comes now here to his people, it's the second coming. So right? Christus kommt hier zu seinem Volk an, es ist das zweite Kommen. So uh, he steps into his church. Und er, er tritt in seine Gemeinde hinein. In Jonah, he's on the wrong ship. Yes. <laughs> That's right. In Jonah, there is auf dem falschen Schiff. Yes. Exactly. He goes back to the world. Right. Er geht zur Welt zurück. Okay, so just to summarize quickly. Also, um eine schnelle Zusammenfassung zu machen. Uh, we, we, we could see that there's, there's always this big time of trouble. Es gibt diese große Zeit des Trübsals, den ganzen Fraktalen lang. But this big time of trouble is then divided into two smaller times of trouble with a little time of peace in between. Und diese große Zeit des Trübsals wird ähm, in zwei Zeiten des Trübsals, also unterbrochen durch eine kleine Zeit des Friedens. And in this story, what we just looked at, uh, we could see uh, this first time of trouble where when the wind started to blow and they were desperate and toiling against the waves. Und diese Geschichte, die wir eben gelesen haben, diese erste Zeit des Trübsalses, wenn diese Sturm anfing und die haben gekämpft gegen die Wellen an. And at the end, they were they thought themselves to be lost. Und am okay. Ende, die haben sich ähm, verloren äh, gedacht. Uh, but then, it's always then when Jesus comes to. Save you. Okay. Und es ist gerade dann, als wenn Jesus erscheint und dich zu retten. When you have no trust in yourself anymore and you completely are dependent on His mercy. Wenn du kein Vertrauen mehr im Selbst hast und du bist total auf seine Gnade ausgewiesen. Yeah. And then Jesus comes and Peter is full of joy, marking a deliverance. Okay. Jesus kommt und Petrus ist voller Freude, markierend ein äh, Befreiung. And then uh, Jesus says, "Come." Come to me on the water. Jesus said, "Come to me on the water." So therefore, now Peter walks here on the water as long as he keeps his eyes fixed on Jesus. So long as he keeps his on Christus hält, Petrus wandelt auf dem Wasser. And that's also illustrated by the the first vision that Sister White has. And that's also illustrated by the first vision that Ellen White had um, dargestellt. Where they Walked this narrow path, and they had to keep their eyes fixed on Jesus. Sie diesen schmalen Weg entlang gingen, und die mussten ihren Augen stets auf Christus halten. Or this vision with the the two groups, right, the little praying company, and this big uninterested group. Oder der Vision mit diesen zwei Gruppen, die kleine betende Schar oder der große Gruppe, die sorglos und uninteressiert waren. Because there also Jesus led them out of the way, and they had to. Keep their eyes fixed on Jesus. Denn auch da Christus hat sie einen kleinen Weg hinausgeführt. Und sie mussten währenddessen ihren Augen stets auf ihm halten. But then, when the next time of trouble came, Peter he lost sight of Jesus because he looked back. Dann, als das nächste Zeit des Trübsals anfing, Petrus hat den Anblick von Jesus verloren, weil er zurückgeschaut hat. And so, and this marks here where many people will lose sight of Jesus and will 
fall down the wicked world below. Und das markiert der Punkt, wo viele den Antlitz von Jesus verlieren wird und in den bösen Welt hinabfallen. Uh, but Peter, he cried out to Jesus, Lord, save me. Aber Petrus, der hat den Herrn angeriefen, Herr, Herr, rettet mich. And I remember one instance in my life where I was just about to sink. Und ich erinnere mich an eine Geschichte in meinem Leben, wo ich kurz davor war zu sinken. And then I also prayed so earnestly in my heart, Lord, save me. Und da habe ich ernsthaft im Herzen gebetet, Herr, rettet mich. And really, immediately, all these doubts that Satan put in my mind were just taken away. Und sofort all diese Zweifel, die Satan in meinen Gedanken hineingesät hat, waren weg. I was also a short before rejecting this message one time. Kurz davor, diesen Botschaft zu verwerfen. And and the Lord really saved me. Okay. Der Herr hat mich gerettet. And therefore I know that if you really cry out to God with your heart and remember, know the Lord has led me, um, then wenn du, he will save you. Wenn du wirklich mit deinem Herzen um, den Herrn nachriefst, weil du weißt, dass er dich gerettet hat, dann... No, no, because you know that, that the Lord led you in the... Not, weil du not, weißt, not, dass der Herr dich geführt hat in der Vergangenheit, right. dann wird er dich hören. Yeah, yes. Okay, and okay, and then here basically, yeah, he saves Peter and he comes into the boat and then the wind ceases and they are fully delivered. So, uh, rettet Petrus, die treten in das Boot hinein, die Winde hören auf und die werden befreit. Okay, so if there are no more thoughts or questions, then you can, we can. Yeah. Yeah. Paul says also for when I'm weak. When I'm weak, then I'm strong. And refer he's referring to persecutions, uh, infirmities, or troubles. So yes. Paulus sagt, wenn ich schwach bin, dann bin ich stark durch Christus. Und er bezieht sich das auf ähm, Trübsalen. Also he, Peter felt his weakness. Yes. Und Petrus hat he seine Schwachheiten gespürt. He, yes. he was strong. Yeah. Deswegen rief er den Herrn nach und würde durch ihn gestärkt. Because that's the way it says, when he now came into the boat, it says, Peter was not subdued and silent, he had no reason to boast over his fellows, for though through unbelief and self-exaltation, he had very nearly lost his life. So, as Petrus in den Boot hineinkam mit Jesus, er war still und hat nichts, womit er sich aufblähen konnte, denn es war durch seine Selbsterhöhung, ähm, dass er beinahe sein Leben verlor. Okay, in unbelief. Und Unglaube. All right, so everybody could follow? Konnte jeder folgen? Okay, praise God. Then uh, let us close with our prayer. Dann lasst uns mit unsere Gebetsrunde abschließen.